What's up everyone and welcome back to another vlog. I'm finally back vlogging after this whole corona mess um, and now I've been back to London uploading quite um, quite a bit out there. I'm finally vlogging in a rather cool place. Yes, I am actually back in Monaco and um, a very unexpected trip. Only planned a couple of days ago and I thought with my dad as we were supposed to go in April, why not try and get out here in August and we're here and I can't complain. I mean, just to be back here, even walking on the pavement, it feels so so good. But oh, I've missed Monaco so much and look at the view. It's incredible. And that even the best thing about this is I'm going to get a McDonald's right now. But the cars have been incredible. We arrived last night and already saw a LaFerrari, um, Enzo, I'll throw the clips in through the vlog. Oh, I can't wait to show you guys some of the vlogs this week. So I'm out here for six days gonna just do the normal spotting casino from the Fairmont um, to the beach club um, gonna show dad around as he hasn't been around this time only when top marks has been on so the beach club wasn't really worth it and yeah got a new camera as well so hopefully the quality is a bit better and without further ado I hope you enjoy the vlogs The only bad thing about Monaco this time, right over there is where I normally get my delicious Big Mac fries, everything. McDonald's, it's now closed. Could be the end of the world for me, but I have heard there's actually another McDonald's past the Prince's uh, like palace, really. So worth the walk? Yeah, I think it would be, but the fact that McDonald's is closed, oh my God. It's like I'm gonna have to eat more crisps to live on because you know I'm not gonna eat Starbucks or whatever. I've never actually had a Starbucks, to be fair. But we're going to now go to McDonald's because I am starving and it's just gone 11 o'clock so technically it's also my breakfast but check that out for the view. So I'm now in the Prince of Monaco's car collection. I have to wear a face mask but hopefully you can still hear me look at the f1 cars behind me and there are so many racing ones and i came down here last april actually so i'm not going to film too much in here because i've got this mask on but the collections in here are absolutely incredible <music> Well, that was pretty cool in there. I mean, I didn't really want to film that much because it's quite dark in there and just wearing a mask, I couldn't really talk. And I have to explain it again, I know nothing about my classics and the only cars I really knew in there was the Mura, I think 275, 28 GTOs, you know it. But again, I'm back with an incredible view. And um, I think now I'm gonna try and travel to the other side of Monaco, basically, to the beach, uh, the beach club, where there's a blue TDF I'm hoping to see. So, without further ado, Let's get some more steps in and more miles to kill because it's quite a long way.
So after plenty of cars have just been spotted, I might have missed one of the best ones. I missed an Aston Martin 177 and that is hence why I haven't been to the beach club actually. I'm just gonna go up and get changed ready for dinner but I missed a 177 and thought why not wait it out for the tunnel but then all the cars I wanted to see at the beach club like the MSO uh, SLR, the one of 20 I believe, the blue TDF, they all drove past as you'll see in the video so it wasn't too bad so I saw most of what was at the beach club just missed a 177 but in fact that is the same one I saw last year so it's not too bad but we'll have to see what tonight brings but so far so good I mean plenty of supercars around just need the hypercars so a quick change of outfits looking a bit more posh rather than my usual trackies or black shorts or whatsoever but we are heading now hopefully to tip top to get some burgers and chips get all the energy I need because I think I'm gonna be like cast until like 2 a.m. tonight but yeah I definitely need some chips as I always do I mean I should really cut down but you live one life, eh? Got to carry on eating them. But yeah, so, I mean, the weather is lovely, and especially in this heat, it's absolutely perfect. Like, it's a bit of a breeze, it's still warm. So yeah, let's see what comes out tonight. So just had dinner, absolutely woofed down them burgers and chips, actually so nice it was. Um, and then the Porsche 98 drove past which is quite cool and I need to check that out at the casino. But right now I'm at this hotel, I'm not actually too sure what, the, what it's called, I haven't got a clue. However, apparently there's a 1 of 20, I think Mansory SLR which looks phenomenal in like the blue and a Mercy so I need to check that out. But so far so good, I've seen an F8, 918, TDF, quite a lot out. So to start off with, we've got this lovely Rossimars SVJ actually on jersey plates, which is really cool. Actually, you don't see that very often, but the main one, the McLaren SLR MSO edition, the one of 20. I think I said that right. So, I mean, this looks phenomenal. I wasn't really a fan of the SLRs like when I first got into cars, but seeing this one done by MSO looks incredible. And I believe it's a one of 20 or one of 25. I can't remember, but this looks awesome in this shade of blue and if we come to the bonnet here we have the mclaren badge as you can see look at the carbon on the front of this this is nuts and it does look very cool
was us. So after filming quite a lot of supercars and finding hypercars, a lot kind of came out in the end. I mean, I'm heading back to the room uh, probably earlier than usual, but I do need to start editing these videos and vlogs. So this will be my first vlog live. Uh, sorry about the noise. There we go. Uh, we had a Chiron 918, the new Enlargo from um, Saudi Arabia, I believe, that got um, collected in cans today and has literally just been driven to Monaco. Um, all the seats inside were still like got the plastic covers, uh, you got the letters where you know you do like the handovers. So it must be a brand new Enlargo. Um, I mean, so much came out, and then that random red LaFerrari, the Monaco registered one. So I was so happy to see that, but I mean, it's just. It was constant and look at the view however monaco never sleeps however i have to and i have to get this video up so hope you've enjoyed this video please give it a like share and subscribe if you're new and yeah i'll catch you guys in the next vlog Thanks. what we do here is go back 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 back